everyone! I'm Emily and today I'm going to be making a jellyfish themed resin canvas art. So I've started with three shades of blue to make the ocean and I'm going to apply that to the canvas going from the darkest shade to the lightest shade. After that, I get my wire pieces ready. I've already completed most of them, but I'll show you how I did it here. So I took some wire and I cut off a little bit, and then I wrapped it around a paint container or my other UV resin container, and then I chopped that, and then I bended the excess parts with my pliers towards the center to make the jellyfish cap. For the tentacles, I took a length of the wire and I used my pliers and I bent the wire up and down throughout the whole thing to make a zigzag shape. For some of the thinner wires I was using, I bent the wire with my hands. To attach the wire pieces to the canvas, I'm going to pour a thin layer of resin. The first time I did a project like this, the first layer of resin I did was too thick, so I'm going to try to make it a little bit thinner this time. Make sure to get the resin all the way to the sides of the canvas to keep it nice and neat. And now we can finally start assembling the jellyfish onto the canvas. As you can see, I've got three jellyfish and I decided to use three colors of wire, silver, gold, and well, the third color isn't quite rose gold, but it's like, it's a different gold. To add some extra interest to the jellyfish, I'm going to mix up some pearlescent resin and I'm going to add it to the bottom of the caps and to the tentacles of the jellyfish. I recommend adding the pearlescent resin after the um, after it, ha it has thickened quite a bit because if not, it will spread around and it won't stay where you placed it. Thank you. 
Now that the clear resin has cured, I'm going to color in the jellyfish. So I'm going to do a yellow one, a white and a pink one, and a white and brown one. At this point, I thought that the jellyfish needed a little bit more um, detail, so I got out some paints and I'm going to add more details to the tentacles and the caps of the jellyfish, just to make it look a little bit more interesting and more, um, more put together, I think. This process was pretty interesting because in general, um, I'm pretty heavy handed and to make this look good, I had to try my best to use a really nice, light, and delicate hand. My first attempt at it, I just like pretty much smudged a line all over the, one of the jellyfish, and so I had to start over. But I think, I think it's going really well. Once the paint is dry, it's time to add the final top coat of resin. So I'm just pouring the resin onto the canvas. This time I'm not worried about it being too thin. In fact, the thicker, the better in this case. Well, not too thick, not like, not like a hundred layers thick, but a nice thick protective coat. And once again, make sure to get to the edges, um, paint down the sides of the canvas to keep those neat. And um, consider putting some tape under your canvas because I didn't do that for some reason. So I'm going to have to sand down the drips, which I hate sanding. So I don't know why I didn't put the tape. And after a day, it's finally done curing and it looks amazing. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I think I learned a lot from the last time I did this and it looks, it looks right. I already, already said that, but I'm just really happy with it. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video too, please subscribe to my channel, give this a like, and maybe visit my Instagram, which is at eCraftingWorld. See you next time.